All right, here we go again. So, I have my singles, and I'm going to make a nice big loop and tie a knot at the end of them. And of course, I can't figure out how to make a knot. There we go. So, I've got my big loop, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that loop over the peg. Now, so here's the beginning of the loop. I guess I found the beginning the trickiest just to get around my head how to get started. So I have my loop and this is the strand coming from my ball of singles. So I sort of bring that back up towards the peg and I'm going to start wrapping on now with all three plies. So I wrap on. Now, when I get to the loop again, I put my hands through the loop and I reach for the singles from my ball. I pull another loop out, remove the old loop, and put the new loop back on. Then, I can pull back. And I can pull back quite far if I want to. And then I wrap them on. I find it easier and faster to wrap on if I do quite a long loop. And now, as I come back to the peg again, I reach inside my loop, get a new loop from my ball of singles, pop off the old loop, put on the new loop, and I pull back again. And I wind on. And that's it. It's not so bad. It's just that initial bit that I found hard to just wrap around my head. How to get it started. But then you can get into quite a good rhythm. And you can get quite a long loop. And it also stays under a good tension so it doesn't kink back on itself. So I like it. And that's it. I think I'm off to do some more digging of the well, or filling in of the well. One more loop, then I'll put it away. And it's also very easy to just put down and start again when you need to. That's it! Ah! Bye!